I'm Miren Izquierdo, an artist from Spain. I live here in Berlin. My interests are mainly behaviors for in like in public space or in specific context. So I try to observe how people behave either in the streets or inside in a semi-public, semi-private space and then try to develop um, process-based works, site-specific for these spaces, which are not very spectacular and not, not so material related. Normally I try to avoid documentation like because I don't want to create the sense of um, spectac spectacular. Mm -hmm. to spectacle. be spectacle to people right. so yeah but the people who see me in the streets think that I'm just I don't know that I'm crazy many people approach me to see if I'm if, all right. if I'm all right yeah. or if I'm crazy or call the police I was standing against the wall for five minutes uh -huh. but dressed as a guard with my uniform I'm not wearing the uniform today right. which is just a purple shirt yes. and after yeah like I, I documented that piece in video and uh, I talk about if I'm becoming art or not and how in that room, because there's nothing, I was entertained just by looking at people who took pictures of themselves or danced or just look with no, like walk around with no directions or how in every other room, because they are looking at something, they, they behave very normally, mm -hmm. but in this room they had nothing to look, so they started to look at themselves and how I was not the guard anymore, but like the visitor and they were the performance and so. I see, so were you facing the wall? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was. Or one of the poles? No, no, I was facing the wall, just trying to avoid to do my job. <laughs> I did it once in Weimar and I was laying on the ground. Was it radical? Something radical you did? Well, I was laying on the ground facing facing the ground uh -huh. and I, I was wearing earplugs uh -huh. because I wanted to ignore what makes me limited in public space which is the fact that people observe me. Like We have this consensus that we try to follow because we live in public and so yeah, after one hour trying to just be, I, I was following um, the shape of a ramp and after half an hour or so I turned around and there are four people aligned next to me and one of them ha had called the police without, like probably they had talked to me but I was wearing earplugs so I didn't hear it. Was but the music playing too? No. Oh, it's just earplugs? Yeah, okay. it's nothing. And somebody, like nobody touched me to see if I was okay. Yeah. They just called the police, the police came, the ambulance came, I had to pay a fee. Because they said they could not um, punish, punish someone uh, for trying to help, when actually in every other country you have to make sure that the person that you're calling for actually needs the help, because it's important when an emergency uh, wagon goes anywhere. Like, but you didn't call it. No, I didn't call it, of so course. And I, I replied and I complained and they said, no, I can't, we can't do this. So in the end, I had to pay the fee. The university helped me because back was then I, I was 183 euro. That's insane. Yeah, but the thing is that it was the first day I did this. It was going to be a series every day for five days in a row in the same place. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to create this... Like I wanted to, for somebody who see, saw me every day to create the sense of normalcy, like it's a normal action, and that they would just say, "Oh, this this girl lay on the ground, that's fine." And I was totally scared because I never thought that people would be really afraid of me, like really scared from <laughs> my right, right, my right. passive action, which is actually yeah, it's passive aggressive, I guess. Yeah. 
type of art because you cannot mem uh, put memory to it in the sense where the only person who remembers it is pretty much you through experience through sensual aspect I think it, right? that's a very important part of it that I, I want to experience this and I want to create give this experience to other people I think we also we both have to share this moment of vulnerability to rethink what we already assume as normal to allow a new change. These observations can be also, there's, um, there are photographies that I archive afterwards, I also do drawings, but it's never, I guess it would never, never be the same as the, just the experience if you are one of the unaware passerby. <laughs> I'm trying to see and experience things from another perspective and trying people to do that as well and maybe I force them which is not the nicest thing but I guess otherwise you wouldn't be if you're not interested in it you would you wouldn't find it so I think it's good I, I want people to feel um, not so sure about what they already have like things are not just what they are they can be something else like I also try to give new possibilities of actions to things that we know like everything can be broader so take, uh, for granted yeah and also like this you, we can do so much more with so little it doesn't have to be so constrained there are lots of possibilities for everything but also i think that we learn through experience so that's why my work is so in a way physical or is it important to influence with your art, Irene? Mm, I think so. I think, I mean, influence is just an art of, it's a way of communication. Like, and you will always remember the conversations that deeply touch you or that gave you something. So I'm trying also to give something. It's not necessarily that I'm going to change the world. I don't think I'm in that level. Right. Like I don't, I don't believe in such a thing in a small scale. Like I can touch someone, but that doesn't mean. I mean, probably, I, we don't have to go farther away. But I'm interested in having this exchange of trust, vulnerability, or new ideas related to your own space. Mm -hmm. 